guys, we are back for part three in my declutter series. I saved the most difficult one for last. We are tackling my blushes, bronzers, highlighters, and mascaras today. Really, my blushes and bronzers are going to be the hardest drawer for me to declutter. It is overflowing. I can barely shut it. In fact, I think there's a couple things I can't even fit in there right now. And I'm feeling very motivated now that my other drawers are nice and clean and decluttered and empty. Well, emptier. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make some tough choices, but it should be fun. Before we get into that, I want to give a special welcome to any of my new visitors here. Please consider subscribing and make sure that your notifications are turned on. But I imagine this is going to take me a little while, so we had better get started. Starting off in my very overfilled bronzer and blush drawer. Let's tackle the bronzers first and then we'll get into blushes. These are my bronzers here. These two sections here are my blushes. I have some stuff that's overflowed back behind. So I'm going to go through and just start with the ones I know I do not want to keep. This is probably the first one I can think of. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics bronzer. This one was a little bit of a strange shade for me. I believe this brand's also been discontinued. I have the shade Skinny Dip. And also, I think the biggest thing is this smells like maple syrup, but not in a good way. Like, not a smell I would like on my face. I generally like more sweet-smelling makeup, but this was one that just I did not get along with. It smelled like a maple bar donut, which I'm not a big fan of maple bars. Okay, I'm also going to declutter a couple of liquid bronzers. I actually like both of these. They just don't work for my my skin because I have so much discoloration and hyperpigmentation in my cheek area that I feel like it pulls off the coverage that I've carefully built up underneath. I wish I could use a formula like this because I love the moisture that it gives, but it just does not allow me to have enough coverage. So I'm going to get rid of both the Physicians Formula and the Pacifica, although I do think they're nice if you like that sort of a product. I'm also going to get rid of the She Glam Liquid Contour. I've got a couple of liquid bronzers and contours here. So I've got my original Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand. I think I'm going to keep the Charlotte Tilbury one. This is still not my favorite contour bronzer formula, but of all the three, I do like this one. This is a really close dupe, the, phys the Physician's Formula. These two are a little bit different. I think these are both a little more cool tone. The Halo Glow contour in the shade Fair Light, and also the number one shade in the Milani Liquid Contour. I like both of these, but again, I have the, a similar issue with these as I did with the liquid bronzers or contours, although I do think these are a lot more pigmented than something like this that you need a lot more product, so it's, it tends to really pull off coverage even more than these. But I am going to keep the Charlotte Tilbury just in case my preferences change, which they have in the past. I just don't need to keep all of those because I rarely reach for them. I am going to also get rid of my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. They sent this to me and I replaced my very old version of the Butter Bronzer. This is the light bronze version. The formula of this is very different. As you can see, I don't use this super often. I have already hit pan because this is basically almost like a loose bronzer. It is so loosely pressed. It is very, very messy. I find I have to apply a lot of it to get it to show up on me, which I don't remember that being the case with the old one that I had. I just don't love it as much as I liked the old version. And I like my bronzers to be firmly pressed, really be able to dig my brush into them. And this one I just have to be way too careful with. So I'm gonna say goodbye to that. I'm definitely keeping my my Beautiful Skin Sun-Kissed Cream Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury, one of my all-time favorites. I'm going to keep my Thrive Cosmetics Bronzer. This is such a great powder bronzer shade, the shade Rhea. Same goes for this Flower Beauty Sunrise L1, one of my favorite bronzer shades. For those of you that don't like something too warm, that's my number one recommendation for people. I'm going to keep my Hourglass Bronzer. It's a classic. I have the Luminous Bronze Light. It is quite warm, but I really like the formula of this. I'm also going to keep this mini Hourglass. This is Diffused Bronze Light. It's a little bit dark for me, but I can get it to work, and I like the cooler tone of this one when I want to do a bit more shaping. Okay, let's try and get rid of a couple of these contour sticks or bronzer sticks. I am going to finally say goodbye to my Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer Stick. This is the OG Giant Size, which I wish they still made this because I think it... I still think it's one of the best cream bronzers, but I have a lot of cream bronzers that I really love. And this one is quite old, so I think it's time to just say goodbye to this one. Possible I'll replace this with the new one in the smaller size, but we shall see. This one I'm going to keep. I love the Merit Cream Bronzer in the shade Clay. It's slightly more cool toned than the Milk Makeup one. I've been using this one a lot lately, and I just really love the formula and the shade. It's great. Okay, this is actually a loose version of the Flower Beauty. So I had one that was kind of broken. I put it into this little pot as like a loose bronzer. Honestly, I just don't need them both. So I'm gonna get rid of this and keep the 
one that I found to replace it. It took me a while to find a replacement because it was out of stock, but now that I have a replacement, I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, here's two right here. I am definitely keeping the Milani Silky Matte in 02. Great formula and shade from the drugstore. I'm going to pass along the NYX Matte Bronzer. I have the medium one. This one I think is just a little bit too dark for me and a little bit too warm, a little too orangey on my skin tone. Just not my favorite. It, the formula is nice. I just think the color was off for me. Probably should have gone with the lighter shade. I have the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. This is such a great drugstore bronzer. I'm going to keep that one. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I got this in a K-Beauty order. I like it. It's a little more of a cool tone, like sculpting product. And generally, if I'm doing any sort of sculpting with something cooler i like using a cream more than a powder it's pretty good i think it's very cute but i just don't need it and i need the space more than i need that so next up i have my nars bronzers i like both of these this is the original nars laguna bronzer i feel like i should keep it because it's just an original i know a lot of people have loved that one for years this one i actually think i like a little bit more this is Laguna, but it's in a different, I can't remember what this was called. It actually doesn't say it on the packaging. It was like a, a special edition release. I got it in Marshalls. I'm gonna pass this along. I just don't need it. I like them both and they're kind of similar. I am going to keep my Ombra, Ambra from Nabla, the skin bronzing. I love these. This is a really great shade for those of you that have kind of light to light medium skin tones. Love the packaging of these. I do feel like this one, which I do use quite a bit, is starting to hard pan a little bit around the edges, but again, I use this one all the time, so I can't get rid of it. I am also going to keep the NARS. This is the Laguna O2 cream bronzer. Now, if you're looking for bang for your buck in a cream bronzer, there's so much product in here, and this is very pigmented. I almost think I need the 01 shade. This is almost a little dark for me. I have to be very light-handed, but it blends like a dream. It's super creamy. It wears really well, and this thing will last me a lifetime. I think there's like, yeah, more than a half an ounce, 0.67 ounces inside here, which is so much product. Okay, I've got this little thing. This is the Cotton Contour. I think it's from Misha, the brand. This is a very cool toned light shade. For those of you that have extremely fair skin that want to do some contouring, I would recommend this. This is a very unique shade of contour. It's very, very light, even a little light for my skin tone, I think. But these are super affordable. You can get them on YesStyle. You may be able to find them on Amazon. If you can, I will link them down below. Really nice for traveling, a good basic powder formula. And they have other shades as well that are great. Then this is my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I love this. I think this is still one of the best affordable cream bronzers at the drugstore. So I'm going to hold on to that. And then I have these two. So I have the... ColourPop Bronze Stick. This one is in the shade La Hola Cove. And then I have the Essence Baby Got Bronze in, I think, Cinnamon Spice. Gosh, I like both of these, but I don't feel like I need them both. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the ColourPop. I think it's really good. I just feel like I have other ones I like just as much, and this one's cheaper. So if I wanna do a super, a video on super affordable makeup, I think this is one I would recommend because it's so affordable. I just think it's a little messy. It's almost like, too creamy in a way. It's good. I'm just trying to find a justification for getting rid of it. But the shade is great. I do love this shade. It reminds me a lot of the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in Baked. But I have too much, so that one's going to get the cut today. Okay, found a few in the back. This is the Kiko Sculpting Touch Cream Bronzer Stick. I would be inclined to keep this one, but I have the Merit one that I feel like is similar to this, and I like... They are quite similar, although I do think that one's a little bit cooler. Very different shade. I don't know how well those are picking up. For now, I'm gonna keep it. If I end up having trouble fitting things back in, this one could get the cut in the future. I would probably keep the Merit over this one, but those are different enough that I feel like I should keep them both. This is the Physician's Formula Bronzer Plus Blush. I like this. It's pretty new to me, but I have enjoyed it, so I don't feel ready to get rid of this quite yet. I actually don't even know where to put it. Do I put it with the bronzers? Or do I put it with the blushes? For now, we'll say bronzers, because I have a feeling. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have a harder time with my blushes than I am with my bronzers, be warned. This is also from Kiko Milano. I think this is limited edition. I don't think they, they make this anymore. I wasn't sure I liked it when I first tried it. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, hourglass, beautiful packaging. It's so, so pretty. And I have grown to really like this bronzer. It's the Happy Birthday Beleza Baked Bronzer in Honey. I probably should force myself to get rid of this, but I do still enjoy it. So I'm gonna keep it for now, hoping that I have cleared enough room in some of the other ones that I've gotten rid of. This is the Charlotte Tilbury 
Film Star Bronze and Glow, just, I think it's the mini size. I feel like I should get rid of this, but I can't because it's Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> I don't use it hardly ever. It's not my most favorite contour, which I use bronzers more than I do contouring. The shade's just a tiny bit light for me. The highlighter is not, it's a very subtle highlighter, which you guys know I like my highlighters to be blinding, but it is Charlotte Tilbury. It's very travel friendly. I like it and I just can't quite get rid of it yet. If I don't use this in the next six months, maybe I'll force myself to use it and see if I can grow to like it a little bit more. And if not, then I should probably declutter it. But for now, we're gonna give it one more shot. Okay, I am definitely keeping my Makeup by Mario Cream Bronzer. I don't think it's actually called a cream bronzer. It's the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in Light Medium. I love this stuff. It's just a really nice formula. I feel like I'm going through this really quickly. I've been using a lot, using it a lot lately. And the formula, you kind of burn through it kind of fast. Like it's it's a little bit more lightly pigmented so you can use a lot more product or you need a little bit more. You don't have to be quite so careful with it. And I feel the same way about this one. This is the Physician's Formula. I'm actually, I don't know if you're gonna pick this up. There's a tiny bit of pan right there. You guys will probably remember if you watch a lot of my videos, I was raving about this thing like crazy. Several months ago when I first got it, they sent this to me, by the way. A lot a lot of my Physicians Formula products are sent to me. They do have me on their PR list. But I love this. It's one of my favorite cream bronzers currently. And I'm sure I'm going to use it all up, which is amazing because I don't say that about a lot of things. I mean, there are a handful of products I've ever completely used up. But it, but it is one thing I think I would, guess, caution you with something like this. I don't think that I've used it up quickly because... I use it so often, which I do use it often, but there are other products that I also use often that you don't need to be so heavy handed with. This one, I use quite a bit of product when I use it. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're considering this is probably a 10 to $12 bronzer. If it's only gonna last you for a couple of months, even though it's drugstore, maybe there's better options out there, either from drugstore or even from high end as far as value, but I do love it. This one is from Revolution. This one's a little bit more pigmented to be a little more light-handed with it. It's also super affordable. I don't think it's quite as creamy as the Physician's Formula one is, but it is really nice. I have the shade Light. I would recommend this one as another drugstore cream bronzer if you're wanting to try something new out. This is the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. Another fantastic high-end cream bronzer. Love the shade, the formula, the packaging. Everything about this is great, so I am definitely not going to part with that. Okay, my Patrick Ta bronzer, she sculpted cream contour and bronzer duo. I am keeping this one. I don't use it as often. I need to pull this back into a rotation. I do really like it. I like that the cream bronzer is a little cooler than the powder bronzer, but I like using these together. I think I'm going to pass along my Juvia's Place bronzer bronzer duo so i have the light one i like it i think it's really good i just have other ones i think i like a little bit better so i'm gonna let someone else enjoy this i do really like the butter contour palette i think i'm gonna keep this one i prefer this formula to the newer butter bronzer formula i do like how these go on they blend like a dream i like that one's cooler one's a little darker and warmer I don't really use the powder in here, but I think it's really nice. It's one that I use quite a bit. And last, I have my LYS bronzer. I went with the shade Motivate. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I think it's good. All right, so while I was editing, I realized that my camera had stopped recording a small section of this. So I'm just gonna pick it up from here with this still shot, and then I'll jump back into the tail end of the blushes. I got most of them in there, but I missed the first few. So I did end up keeping the LYS bronzer, and then I moved on to this first bin of blushes. So I'm just kind of point out the ones that I kept and the ones that I got rid of. First off, I kept my Makeup by Mario Cream blush in perfect pink. I also kept this one right here, which is the House Labs French Rosette. I love that powder blush. And I also kept my She's So LA from Patrick Ta. And then these first three right here, I kept my Kaja Trio. I got rid of Milani Luminoso. And then I also got rid of this one, which is from Juicy Ping. It's their Jelly Cheek Blusher. It's a near perfect dupe for the Glow Play blush from MAC in So Natural. So I got rid of that one as well. Then this one right here is also from a K-Beauty brand called Can Make. It's a cream blush and it is actually a dupe for the Fenty Petal Poppin right here, which I did keep and I got rid of the Can Make. This one behind it is from Honest Beauty. It's a cream blush in the shade Rose Pink. I got rid of that one. I also got rid of Between the Sheets from ColourPop. Those two were hard because I do really love both of those. Then these two are the Nabla Powder Blushes in Independence and Truth. I kept both of those. I kept my NARS Madly. I kept this Tower 28 and then I got rid of two of my elf 
liquid blushes. And then the recording picks back up. Sorry about that, guys. And that leaves me with the two rare beauty. I have Happy, Bliss, and then I have Dusty Rose from e.l.f. and the Brilliant Peach from Physician's Formula. I think since I have one e.l.f. already, I'm gonna keep both of the Rare Beauties and pass along the Physician's Formula and the other e.l.f. one. I think they're great. If you have them, I'm only decluttering them because I just have so much, but I feel like these formulas are also similar to each other. Shades are also quite similar, so I will keep these three liquid blushes for now. And then I've got all my juicy pings. I, I feel like I should probably get rid of one just because I have so many, they take up so much space. Gosh, it's hard for me to do that because I love them all so much. But you know what? I think I am going to get rid of this purple, lavender purple one. I like mixing this one with other shades. I think it's kind of fun, but it's the most probably unwearable shade on its own. So I'll pass that one along. And I'm also gonna pass along this very bright kind of orangey coral. This is shade CR01. By the way, the purple one was VL02, in case you're curious. Okay, this is a little trio that I tried recently in a K-Beauty video. It is a face trio. I know it's tiny. It looks like the size of the Kaja Eye trios, but it is meant to be for the face. I really liked it. It's a little small for some of my face brushes, but I love the bright blush especially. It's so corally and bright. This one right here, this is the Lovely Cookie Blusher from Etude House. This I got from Yes Style. It's a Korean beauty brand and it is so, look at this packaging. I mean, every time I, I talk about this thing in every declutter that I do and it always makes it through because the packaging is just so cute. It is a good matte blush. This is the shade Ginger Honey Cookie. I mostly keep it for Charlie. This is one of the things she likes to to touch and reach for when she comes and plays in my makeup drawers. So I will keep it for now. This is the Westman Atelier blush stick. This is in Bichette. Gosh, I've only used this like twice. It is a pretty shade. I feel like if I had to keep this over my milk or my personas, those ones are gonna be hard for me to get rid of. So to keep those, I, to justify keeping most of those, I'm gonna go ahead and pass along. The Westman Atelier one, I know this is a very expensive brand. Seems kind of crazy for me to pass along. The packaging is gorgeous. It was pretty pricey for this mini size, but I just don't use it. So I'll let someone else play with that one. I have to keep all of my gel crushes from Flower Beauty. Another one of my favorite drugstore blush formulas. They're so good, I love them all. And I'm also gonna keep my Hourglass Blush in Mood Exposure. So, oh boy, I feel like I Got rid of a handful, but I'm a little more nervous about this side over here. Let's let's just keep going. I'm gonna keep my Hourglass Ghost Ambient Lighting Palette. I love the blushes in here. I mentioned I don't love the, the setting powders or the powders on, highlighters on top, but I'm gonna keep it because I spent so much money on it. Okay, let's go through these. This is going to be very tricky. Okay, I'm gonna pass this along. This is Always Rosy from e.l.f. And then I have, this is the Gen Nude in Let's Go Nude. I don't use this very much anymore, so this is another one I'm just gonna say goodbye to. I'm also gonna say goodbye to this Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. It's a great blush formula. If you're looking for something affordable, that's a powder, I would recommend this one. I just, it's a very basic shade and I know I have other similar shades and it's a powder for me. I am going to keep the Pure Nude blush in Berry Cheeks. Gosh, I feel like I should pass along Shimmering Rose. It's pretty, it's a little light for my skin tone. Yeah, it's a little too light for me. I'm gonna get rid of um, Shimmering Rose. Got my Flower Beauty blushes here. I have Peach Primrose and Warm Hibiscus. These are so good, but I never use them. If I'm doing a powder blush, I'll reach for my Pure Nude blushes, my, my House Lab new one, my Revolution ones, or my MAC ones or Persona most of the time. And these are, not, these are ones I often overlook. So it's been a while since I've used these. They're really nice. I hate to declutter them, but I just, I need to declutter something. So I'm gonna say goodbye to these ones from Flower Beauty. Okay, I'm gonna also get rid of the Essence, the blush. This is still so good for it being so affordable. This is Befitting, which was my favorite shade in this formula but it's broken, it falls apart, it kind of makes a mess in my drawer, and yeah, I just don't need to keep it. Okay, so now we're making some progress. Now I have my MAC blushes. I don't know that there's any MAC blush in here that I can get rid of. Actually, okay, this is a discontinued shade. This is Margin. Such a pretty shade, but I don't think they make it anymore, and it's very old. I think this is like eight years old. I'm gonna say goodbye to this. I should probably throw it away, actually. I am going to keep peaches. I am going to keep warm soul I love. I also love 
gentle, although gentle is almost an exact dupe for berry cheeks. I feel like I don't need to keep them both, but I like them both. In case they ever do a like dupe video, I don't know that I've done, compared those two in a dupe video yet. I'm also going to keep all of my Glow Play blushes. I have Blush Please, Grand, and So Natural. Love them all. And then I have Melba, which I will also keep. Then I've got this right here. This is the Milani Cream Blush in Nude Kiss. This is a pretty shade and formula. I don't feel like I've used this enough to really make a decision, but I've had it for three years, which I feel like tells me I should probably declutter it. I know a lot of you guys like this brand and this formula. Hmm. But I just feel like I need to make some tough choices. We're gonna say goodbye to this. Okay, I am gonna keep the Physician's Formula Natural Glow Powder. This is more of a kind of bronzy blush on my skin tone. It's very nice. Formula and color, I, I can never fit it anywhere though. I gotta put it right there because it's too large. And then these are all my Persona powder blushes. I'm going to keep these as well. Georgia, Carmel, and Bubble, love them all. I don't use them as often as my creams, but I don't think I can part with them yet. So can these both fit? Oh good, they can both fit. Now let's move on to these cream blushes. This is going to be hard, okay. I, have, I didn't realize Persona had so many cream blush shades. And I kind of love them all. I have Bloom, Teddy, Kiss, Guava, Jam, Bubble, and then I just got two new ones sent to me from Persona. Georgia and Carmel, which are the two, two of their powder, original powder blush shades. I will try these out in a video coming up soon. I kind of am curious to see if Guava and Georgia will be similar to each other, but I don't know that yet, so I don't feel like I can decide yet. I'm tempted to get rid of Jam because it's quite a bit, it's very pigmented and it's quite deep for my skin tone, but I can get it to work for me and it's a very pretty shade for the fall. But you know what? I think I can get rid of Jam. I think it's just a little bit too, too bold for me. And I also really love my Milk Lip and Cheeks. I think I'm gonna get rid of one of these and that probably is going to be, let's see, I think I could get rid of Perk or Dash. Let me get rid of Dash, it's a little light for me. And then I'm gonna keep Perk, I'm gonna keep Flip, which is kind of like a red. It actually reminds me a lot of Kiss from Persona. It's beautiful. Work is my favorite. I've used this, this thing's probably half gone. And I feel like these two are both kind of deeper fall berry tones. Running out of space. Let's see, I've got Quirk. And then this one, which is very deep, is Quickie. Gosh, that's so pretty though. And I don't know that I have anything like that. I'm gonna keep them both. So just got rid of one. I was hoping to get rid of more than that. This I'm also gonna keep. This is from Undone. This is the Peach Shade. These are super long wearing. I've been wanting to try out the Milk. They're like a gel formula, like a gel blush formula. They last so long. They're kind of hard to apply. You have to apply them with a brush. But once they set, they're more of a stain. They will not come off. Great for summer. One I haven't pulled out for a while, even though it's summer's half over. I should probably do that soon. This I can get rid of. This is from Uoma, Uoma Beauty, which I found at Walmart. And I love this on my cheeks, but I don't think you can buy this anymore. So I'm gonna pass that along. I do love both of these. These are actually lip products from a K-Beauty brand called Romand. I bought these on YesStyle. They have pomelo skin, nucadamia, and they're both gorgeous. I actually like them as a liquid blush. They smell like freshly juiced apples. They're so delicious. Great formula. They're, they remind me a little bit of the water blushers, just more of like a watery, dewy formula rather than like a greasy or creamy dewy formula. So we'll keep those. Pop all of these persona ones back in here. Didn't make a lot of progress on that section, but Let's move on to the last one. Definitely keeping my Nabla Two Reasons blushes. These are among my very favorite blushes in this whole drawer. I have Soft Nude and then Touch My Soul, a little bit more of like a berry tone. These are so great. So you've got a cream blush and then this kind of sheer balm. It's almost like a lip balm, but it like gives you this nice glossy hydration to your cheeks that I just love. But it also doesn't pull off coverage on my cheeks for some reason. I think it's because it's a blush formula. So it's, they're pigmented. You don't need a lot of product. I am gonna pass this along. This is the Florence by Mills Cheeky Pop Blush Stick in Kind Kelly. I don't know, these had great reviews. I just was not wild about this shade or formula. It's not bad. It's just, it just didn't wow me in the way that it should have for me to keep it. I also have my super dewy liquid blush from Revolution. This is in the shade. Flushing for you, really nice formula. It actually reminds me a whole lot of the Rare Beauty 
and the e.l.f. ones, and I think the shade is very similar. I would recommend it if you're looking for a drugstore liquid blush. I think it's really good, but I don't think I need to keep it because I have the, the e.l.f. one that I think I will probably use over this one. Now we have my Natasha Denona Dream Cheek Blush Trio. I love the cream blush in here. I like the highlighters as well. There's a cream and a powder. I'm gonna keep this. The packaging's great. Probably spent more on that than I would have liked, but I do like the packaging. I'm also keeping my Pat McGrath Trio. I don't like the highlighter in here, but I love these two blushes, both of which I believe are permanent. You have Desert Orchid and Divine Rose, and they are absolutely stunning. Some of my favorite powder formulas. Okay, I've got Sunkissed from Nude Sticks, which I love for the fall, but it's been here for so long. You know what? I'm gonna pass this one along because I've had it for so long, and I am sure that I have similar shades in my collection now that my collection is so large. I'm also gonna get rid of this. This I got on YesStyle. This is a very cute powder. Again, it kind of reminds me of the Lovely Cookie. I don't know, maybe it's a good summer shade. You know what, I'm gonna leave this on my desk and get a little more use out of it because I just feel like I haven't used it enough to know if it's worthy of keeping. The packaging definitely is, even though it's a little bulky. We'll see, I'm gonna give this another try and then if, it, if I don't fall in love with it in the next month, I will pass it along. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of my Flower Beauty liquid blush bombs. These are great and I really like them, but I like the gel crushes better than these. And if I'm looking for a liquid blush, I'll reach for something like my Juicy Pangs or even the Rare Beauty ones over these ones. So I feel like I can probably pass these along to someone else. I'm gonna keep all of my Merit ones. I got these minis in a, in a holiday set and I love all of these shades. I think I have Fox, Rouge, which is a nice, actually Rouge is almost exactly like Kiss from Persona. I'm gonna swatch these two. If they are too similar to each other, I may just keep one. Although my guess is the formulas are a little different. I think the Merit formula is a little bit more sheer. You know what? I think I'm going to actually pass along Kiss and keep the Merit one for the bright red rouge shade. I just like the dewier formula a little bit better in something so bold. Although I do I do like this one. I just think I'll use that one just a little bit more. Okay, I have this really old Hot Fuss from ColourPop. It's leaking, it's so old and separating. I love this color, but it should probably be thrown in the garbage. It's so old. And then I've got my LYS in Self Love. Very pretty berry tone shade. I probably have this shade in other places, but I'll keep it for now. And last but not least, I'm gonna pass along this Juicy Ping one. I'll keep the Romand ones. They're actually, these are quite similar. I bought all three of these on Yes Style. This one is a very pretty corally sh shade. It's very dewy. It smells again like apples. It smells amazing, honestly. I highly recommend the lip products from K-Beauty Brands for your cheeks. They always impress me, but I just don't need to keep this. So that is it. I'm gonna put everything back in the drawer, organize it, and then we'll move on to mascaras and highlighters, which I think is gonna go very quickly. Okay, look how beautiful and clean everything is and organized. I even have a little bit of space here in the back and right here. That feels so much better. Maybe not as cutthroat as my eyeshadows were, but I probably got rid of a good 30%, which I'm very, very happy with. Now, right here is where I keep my highlighter. So let's just quickly go through this. I think this will be really fast. This one is my Ofra. This is the Samantha March, March Beauty Word highlighter. This is such a good one. I just haven't used it for a long time. I had to repress mine. It's a little bit fragile, so I'm a little bit hesitant to take it traveling or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna part ways with this. I do love the Oprah formula. Maybe I'll repurchase it or another shade at some point, but for now, let's just get rid of that one. I'm keeping both of my Nabla highlighters. I have Ozone and Amnesia. Amnesia is just a little bit more golden than Ozone, which is more of a kind of icy pink, almost an icy champagne, I would say. Both are beautiful, love the formula of these. They are among the best. I know so many of you love Ozone as well. I'm gonna keep Precious Petals. This is a new a new replacement for me. It's already broken, what do you know? Wet and Wild packaging never lasts very long, but I love this formula. It's really great for summertime, the color and formula. I'm gonna keep my Revolution, Just My Type. Highlighter, such a good shade. Again, the packaging's a little bit broken, but it's worth keeping because the highlighter is so good. I have my Becca little mini highlighter in opal. 
which I thought about decluttering, but I'm gonna keep it just because it's so travel friendly. This one I'm going to pass along. This is the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter. It's just too messy for me to use it very often. I like keeping this because it's so pretty to use on other people when I'm doing their makeup for special occasions, which is rare. I don't do a lot of people's makeup, but on occasion, if I need something really, really intense, this is very pretty and sparkly, but there's something else I'm gonna keep instead of this. And that's actually over here. I had it back on my desk because I used this on my soon-to-be daughter-in-law recently. This is the Pearl Luminizer from JCat Beauty. This is so intense as a spotlight highlighter, especially on people with fair skin. Very good for special occasions, so that I will be keeping. Let's go ahead and get rid of my KKW Beauty highlighter. It's okay, it's a nice formula. This brand's not even a thing anymore. I love the camouflage packaging. I think that's the cutest thing about this, but I just don't need it and I don't use it hardly ever. I'm also going to pass along my Flower Beauty liquid highlighter. I have just come to the conclusion that I am not a liquid highlighter fan. For some reason, I love liquid blushes. I love cream bronzers, but with highlighters, I only like powders for some reason. This is from Physicians Formula. This is their Diamond Dust Highlighter in the shade Luminous Gleam. This is just way too dark for me and it's a little bit on the glittery side, so I'm gonna say goodbye to that. Definitely keeping my Essence Pure Nude. I am definitely keeping my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Seeker. This is probably one of my most used highlighters over the last three or four months. Definitely keeping Max Double Gleam, one of my all-time favorites. I also love my Melt Cosmetics Stargazer Highlighter. This is in Digital Dust beautiful kind of golden shade. This one right here is the Essence Kiss by the Light Highlighter. I didn't love this. Um, it wasn't bad, but honestly, I don't even think I've used it enough to really decide, but the few times I've used it, I just wasn't as impressed as I, as I am with their other highlighters, so I will pass that along to someone else. But I will be keeping my Essence The Highlighters, all three shades. I love these all. I have shades one, two, and three, and I think they're all great. This one is the You Glow Girl from JCat Beauty. This is exactly like Precious Petals. It's the exact same shade, honestly. They're like exactly the same. I just don't feel like I need to keep the JCat Beauty one. I'll keep the Wet n Wild one and pass along JCat Beauty. I think someone else will really enjoy that one. It is a good highlighter, I just don't need it. And I'm going to keep my Natasha Denona Super Glow. I've re-fallen in love with this one more recently. I wasn't sure I liked it, but as I've used it more, I do. I really like this highlighter. Then I think I'm gonna pass along my Flexitarian. I just don't use this formula much anymore. I don't feel like it lasts, lasts super long on me. It's very pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Like, but I just, I don't use it. So I'll say goodbye to that. This is from Persona. I wish they still made this highlighter. This is Zuma. They don't make the powder highlighter anymore, but I love this highlighter so much. It's such a pretty summertime shade. I, I'm gonna keep this. I should pull it out and use it this summer. I think I'm gonna pass along the Honest Beauty Luminizing Glow Powder. It's just a little bit too subtle for me. There have been a few of you that have highly recommended this one and told me you love it, but it just doesn't do much for me. Not my favorite. And when I do want something a little bit more on the subtle side, that's still not too subtle, I will reach for my Laura Mercier. I love this highlighter. This is Highlight 01, the Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight. I don't know why it's called the Matte Radiance because it's definitely not a matte powder. It has quite a bit of sheen in it and it's, it's much more intense on this skin than it looks in the pan. I think partly it's because of how pigmented it is and the shade just works perfectly for my skin tone. This one is the Jaclyn highlighter in the shade Iced. I love this. I know she doesn't make these anymore. I think her brand's discontinued, but I love this highlighter. It's so good. And then I've got my favorite Revlon Skin Lights in Daybreak Glimmer. Such a good one. It's the perfect warm gold if you have more fair skin. And last but not least, I have my Peri Para Pure Glory Highlighter in 01. This is fantastic. I got this on Yes Style. I don't usually love the Korean beauty highlighters that I have tried, but this one is the exception. Okay, let me put these away and we'll move on to mascaras. All right, look at all that space. That is so much better. Here are my mascaras now. I bet I can throw away half of these because I have not done this for it's long overdue. I don't think I've done mascaras for quite a while. This milk one I know is dried up and old, needs to be thrown away. My Sky High, this one is gone and dried up and old. By the way, I do have the Cosmic Black Sky High. This one's not quite as long wearing or as water resistant as the original pink Sky High. This is not the waterproof version, but it's very, very water resistant. This one does flake just a tiny bit on me, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it because it's relatively new. 
but I do need to repurchase this one because it's one of my favorite drugstore mascaras for my watery eyes. I'm gonna throw away my Bye Bye Panda Eyes. I did not like this mascara. I did not think it was very good. This one I did like a little bit. I liked how this performed, but this brush, I mean, this is the most obnoxiously large, I don't know if you guys can see that brush ever. I'm messy with all mascaras, but this one in particular, it's just so messy because the brush is too big. So come to think of it, I'm actually gonna get rid of this one because I just I just don't wanna bother with that type of a brush. This one is also old and needs to be thrown away. This is the, the Lash It Loud. I do love the e.l.f. Lash It Loud. This is one I might repurchase. It's a very pokey brush. You have to use it carefully if you have sensitive eyes to brushes that are too sharp. This one's a little on the sharp side, but I love what it does for my lashes and how it wears. And then the Lash and Roll I'm going to keep. I love the e.l.f. Lash and Roll as well. I'm going to keep this Physi Physicians Formula Diamond Mascara. This one has is good and long wearing as well. It's very, very rich in black, and I like what it does for my lashes. Um, this is a new bottle, a big cosmetic superhero. This used to be my very favorite mascara, but it's not water resistant, which is one of the reasons I don't reach for this one as often, but I will keep it because it's a relatively new package that I opened. This is the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. This one's starting to get kind of old. It gives me a very unique feathery look to my lashes that's unlike any of my other mascaras. So I'm gonna keep this one for now and then pass along the travel sized one because this one is older than the full size. I'm gonna keep my Bad Gal Bang Mini, that one I just recently opened. I'm also gonna keep my Lancome Lashy Dull Mini. It's my Kelly Ray. This one's getting close to being dried up. I could probably use this one up soon. And then this is a backup, it has X on the back right here. I love this one, such a good mascara. Nice and long wearing, somewhat of a tubing formula. Speaking of tubing formulas, the Milani Highly Rated. I don't like the way this looks on my lashes as much as I liked the Thrive Cosmetics mascara. I thought they were close dupes for, for each other initially, but the more I use this, the more I realize it doesn't quite give me, it makes it look like I only have like 10 lashes. It kind of clumps my lashes together and doesn't make them look as full as the Thrive Cosmetics one did. So for that reason, I don't like it quite as much, but it does remove very similarly to the Thrive. This mascara I was sent to by Pacifica. Actually this one as well, Pacifica Stellar Gaze, the Activist volume, beautiful packaging. I wish I could keep it just for the packaging, but honestly I don't, I haven't liked any of their mascaras so far. So I'm gonna pass those along or get rid of those. Got my Dream Warrior. I need to replace this one but I'm gonna keep it until I do. Probably with my next Ulta order, I'll order a new one of these. It's one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. It does great things for my lashes. This NARS Climax Mini is old. This Super Fan is old. I can toss both of those. This Marc Jacobs is also old. I can toss that one. My Panorama Mascara, I love. I'm gonna keep that. And my Tower 28, let's see. One of these is old. This is, I think, the newer one. I can always tell when I twist them open which one's more messy. Yeah, this is the newer one. This one is kind of dried out and old and ready to be thrown away. Just a couple more. This Huda Beauty Legit Lashes is a mini that I have not opened yet, so I'm gonna keep that in here. The Rare Beauty one, I like it a little more now. It's not terrible, but it's not my favorite, and I think it's been open for almost a year now, so I should probably throw that one away as well. This Milk one is also over a year old, or nearly a year old. The Rise Mascara, I didn't love this one. Honestly, I don't love the Milk Mascaras. They're not my favorite. This Too Faced Mascara, I actually let my daughter-in-law use this one, so I'm gonna give that one back to her. I haven't tried it out myself. I'm gonna keep my Lash Princess. That one's getting, getting a little on the old side, but I've repurchased that so many times. And my Physician's Formula Lash Illusion. I like the Diamond Mascara a lot more than the Lash Illusion, so I think I'll throw this one away and keep this. And look at that, talk about bare bones. I feel like I need to go mascara shopping now, but that is much more manageable. And it's probably a good idea not to have 25 mascaras open at one time. Okay, so here's everything that I have decluttered, blushes, bronzers, highlighters, and mascaras. There are a total of 74 items that I either decluttered or got rid of or threw away. I'm pretty happy with how I did. I definitely got some space cleared, got more organized, and kept the things that I love the very most. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this declutter series. Please give me a thumbs up or a gold star or something down below because I feel like I did a pretty good job. I'll at least give myself a pat on the back. Thank you guys for watching. I feel like this was a good like mind declutter for me too. It makes me motivated to like maybe make some better videos for you guys be a little bit more mentally creative. I don't know. That's the hope. We'll see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Let me give you one last reminder. Please subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you all hopefully in my next video. Bye. You started? I want pesto. Oh yeah, I'll come make you some. I swear I'll be done in five minutes and I'll come make you some a huge thing of pesto pasta.
Do you like the like spaghetti noodles or do you like the bow ties? I like the spaghetti noodles. Okay. I'll be up in a minute. I've re-fallen in love with this recently. <laughs> Sorry, my son's lifting weights. Um, I wasn't so sure that I loved it. Oh my gosh. Ethan, just try to be a little quiet. Thank you.